Hey guys, it's KJ48, and uh, welcome back to Gaming Spotlight. Um, I'm going to be playing a different kind of game for Gaming Spotlight today. Uh, I'm going to be playing a game called Rust. Um, Rust is a... it's Well, right now it's a browser game, but uh, it's eventually going to be on Steam. It's not going to be a browser game when it's done. But Rust is... Uh, it's an MMO zombie survival game. Uh, it's designed by Face Punch Studios. Um, its inspirations come from games like Daisy, Minecraft, and Stalker. Uh, this is open world PvP. It's a very, very difficult because it's basically kill on sight pretty much all the time. Um, I've been trying to make this video for a while now, and uh, all right, it looks like there's a person down there. So I will avoid other people like the plague. Um, I've been trying to make this video for a while now, and like I keep having to restart because I keep getting killed by other players. And uh, the animals... I just think I just heard a gun, gun, gunfire. The animals actually in this game are pretty rough too now. Um, when I first started playing the game, the animals would just stand still. But now they actually run after you and attack you. And actually last time I tried to record, I got killed by an animal. So as you can see, I just started here. I have a rock in my hands. I have a, a med kit and I have torches. And there is a day-night cycle. Um, it doesn't really... I don't think the cycle um, affects the zombies or the or the you know, the uh, wildlife or anything, although I don't really know, um, so, but the, the, the really, really dark at night, um, you kind of want to be inside just because it's so dark, and I just got some stone, and I collected a little bit of wood before I started recording, and, uh, this is your inventory screen, and I have some wood there, if you come up here and click on the crafting tab, um, you can come down here and see everything you can craft, now I can make, I think I can make a stone hatch, okay, I don't have enough stone to make a stone hatch yet, so let's get some more stone, um, by the way, this is going to be a really messed up uh, video because I might... Uh, I forget they run away from you now. All right, never mind. Um, this is going to be really difficult now with the animals because when I first started playing, the animals would just stand there and let you kill them. And, like, you know, I know this is more realistic, but, it's, man, it's also a lot more difficult. Um, this might look like a good place to settle down. Um, you kind of want to settle down where there's uh, wood piles. Uh, you can get wood from trees. But if you uh, harvest the wood from the trees, you only get like one wood per whack, and it takes a long time to get any decent amount of wood. But there's also wood piles on the ground, and the wood piles on the ground are the things you want to get. Um, so let me just hit from this rock here. This should give me what I need for the hatchet. And uh, like I said, I might get killed by other players. It's, I probably will. And if I get killed by other players, I will pause the recording, and I will get back to where I was when I got killed, and I'll pick up the video, video from there. Um, this is going to be a very highly edited video for me. I don't really like, you know, doing a lot of editing, but it can't really be helped. Um, right now, you can see I'm crafting the, the uh, stone hatchet, and there's actually a timer at the bottom down there. And there's timers for everything you craft, and there, I just got my stone hatchet. And this thing will, uh, basically, it, it just does more damage and it harvests stuff a little bit quicker. Um, so we're going to use this. I'd like to get some wood. Uh, actually, I could probably build my first shelter now, but I don't see any wood piles. And like I said, you kind of want to build your shelter in an area where there's wood piles um, because wood is how you're going to expand your shelter. I'd also need to get some food. If you look on the bottom right-hand side of my screen, there's a little uh, meter down there that has my health, food, and rads. You can't get radiation poisoning in this game. There are certain uh, areas that if you walk into them, you will get radiation poisoning. I don't think there's any way of telling what they are until you've walked into them, but that's a thing. And below my health gauge is my food gauge. The more you run, the more you harvest, the quicker that'll go down. Um, and, and now that the animals run away from you, yeah, there's two kinds of animals. There's ones that run away from you and there's ones that kill you. And uh, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a tough, tough way to get food. Um, you see over there, that's a player-made house. You kind of want to stay away from the players in this game. Um, if you see a house, just go somewhere else. Try and build some... I see a wood thing over there. This might not be a terrible... Yeah, I think I'll build my first house over here. Uh, although it's there's other houses around me, you know. Uh, the game's really, really difficult. Um, you kind of want to run in packs. I'm by myself, and because of that, it's probably going to be really rough for me. But... You know, I wanted to show you the game. I don't know how... Oh, there's another player. By the way, players in this game are naked when you first start off. Uh, but we're going to stay away from him, and hopefully he doesn't come over here. We're going to craft a wooden door. It's going to take 30 seconds. Um, not much to do in the meantime. I could probably harvest some stuff. Uh, looks like he's going the other way. 
food's going to be a real issue now because of the, the fact that the animals run away from you. I'm kind of concerned about that. Um, you will starve to death. So I kind of wish they'd start you off with a little bit of food. The food's a, kind of a pain in the butt in the early parts of the game. Once you start, like, you know, getting some bow and arrows and guns and stuff, you can, uh, it's a little bit easier to get food, but... Alright, I'm going to harvest some wood here. That door should be just about done. And it is. Okay, now we're going to make our first shelter, which is basically just a wooden shelter. It's a very, you know, easy shelter. It's just one thing made for you, and uh, we'll set that up. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be playing this game. I did want to do a video on it because it's a very interesting game, and I kind of I want to get the word out about it. But it might not be for me. Uh, if, if you guys are watching this video and you want to start a clan or something, it would definitely go a lot farther uh, towards, you know, getting me to want to play the game if I had more people to play with. And none of my friends have it yet, and I don't know if they're going to. I think one of, one of my friends has it, but, um, uh, you know, I'd like to get a group of people so we can protect each other. Um, I will explain more at nighttime. I'm going to harvest this wood, and then I'm going to put down the house. And uh, once I'm inside the house, I feel a little protected. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and go in our inventory. we got our wooden shelter, and we'll, we will just place it down right here, like so. And then we come in here and we can place our wooden door. And uh, as soon as this is placed there, I'm going to go out and look for um, some animals. Because I really, I need two things from the animals. I need food and I need I need leather uh, cloth. Uh, so let me go out and look for an animal and I will come right back when I found one. Okay, it's now getting dark and I'm back in my shelter. And I did not find an animal. I'm kind of concerned about... Um, making it through the night now because my food meter running down, but I'm going to show you uh, one more thing right here uh, We got a campfire very easy. It only takes five wood it shows me what I have plenty to make the campfire and uh, We're good to go. We did get some metal ore, which is kind of like iron of the game We got some stone and we got some sulfur ore Sur sulfur ore. Uh, we'll get into that later on um, but we do have a good amount of wood and uh, my fire should be just about done. Now the cool thing about the fire is, you see right down here on the bottom right hand side it says I'm cold. If I put the fire down it warms me up and it actually, um, theoretically, it makes me uh, burn less less calories. So let's go ahead and ignite that and we'll put some more wood on it. You do have to keep the fire um, fueled. 29 might be a bit much. I'm going to have this burning through the night so hopefully it'll help me uh, burn less calories. So I make it through the night. Uh, there's some. Let's look in the crafting thing, and I'll go through some of these crafting things right here. Uh, wood barricade I've never made. I'm not really sure if that's good for anything. The sleeping bag is really nice. This is another reason why I need to kill animals because when you when you get the sleeping bag, you can uh, you put it down, and that's your spawn point. It's very very key. Uh, obviously, um, it takes 20 cloth though. I need to find an animal that I can kill. Uh, the wooden storage box. Now the wooden storage box is really nice because you could be you could store stuff in it. And this little shelter I made here is very hard to destroy, uh, but it can be done. The door can actually be taken down with melee strikes, but it takes quite a bit. But they can get in here, uh, and they will. Uh, we'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, so yeah, the storage box lets you store stuff in here. So if I could store stuff in here, it's it's relatively safe. So I can go out and gather, or I could go out looking for zombies to kill, because zombies drop items. There's a lot of things I can do, and if I get killed out there, I still have some stuff in here in my storage box. Uh, wooden door. I already made a wooden door. I already made a wooden shelter. Uh, wooden shelter. Uh, low grade fuel. I'm not going to get into. I don't make torches. The furnace lets you smell your ore, just like in Minecraft. Low quality metals for making wooden wall, uh, metal walls. Workbench. You need to have the workbench to craft some things. It's kind of like Minecraft. Like the workbench is like a, an advanced crafting item. And the stone hatchet I've already made. Now you got resources. Uh, I'm just going to go through these quickly. Gunpowder. Wood planks. Oh, hold on. Hey, what's up? Going on, man. Not much, man. Just started making a video. Oh, sweet, man. Hey, uh, do you think I can come in for a second? I don't like the night. Yeah, sure. Alright, there's a very good chance this guy's gonna kill me. Oh, <laughs> now I get the show... Now I get to show people how, like, people in this game are naked, which is really, really weird. Yeah, it, uh, it, it doesn't leave anything to imagination. <laughs> that's true, that's true. 
Okay, doing a little post commentary here because um yeah you know basically when you like meet up with someone in the world you could hold down the V button and do like a local chat but it didn't work out that well for this video because you could barely hear the guy I do get on Skype with him later so I'm gonna cut up the video a little bit here since you could barely hear him anyway and when I get on Skype we'll definitely do some more recording. All right, guys, I'm still with this dude over here. We're uh. We're just looking for food because I'm like, if you look on the bottom right hand side, my my food, it looks like I'm gonna starve to death. So it's me and I think his name's Jeffers. Let's see. Oh, Jakers. And uh, we're looking for food in the resource house. All right, there wasn't anything good in the resource yeah, house. This is the area I was talking about with the whole. Uh... Oh, it looks like we're coming into a resource area. The problem is I don't want to like do recordings with him because it's pretty graphic with the nudity. So I'm going to do recordings once he's gone. All right, we just uh, found this place. And um, we both crafted wooden doors. Um, hold on, I'm just going to do some video stuff. We both crafted some wooden doors. And uh, the, only the person who put down the wooden door can open the wooden door. So I put a wooden door over here. And he put a wooden door on this side. And he also made barricades. Now, this structure was already here. So he made barricades to block up the windows. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to go ahead and craft a couple of storage boxes. Storage boxes are the things you can put your stuff in to save them. Um, some of these new items I got here, I got a blueprint for a shotgun. So I'll be able to make shotguns. We also got paper. Paper is used to research items. Um, maybe I'll get into that later, depending on how far we get. And uh, there we go. Uh, I'm, like I said before, I'm having a hard time recording with him because, like I said, there's nudity in this game and it's it's kind of graphic. So I'm trying not to show it because I don't know how it's going to work with YouTube. Um, so I'm going to record what I can and, uh, you know, I'll explain to you what's going on then. So, yeah. Okay, so I just placed down... Uh... All right, now this is an item that keeps spawning in here. So we get free loot in here by owning this place. Um, he left and left his door open, but that's okay. It's not really a huge deal. I put down two crates. Now, uh, anybody can get in these crates, but since we own the doors, we decide who gets in the house. So that's the idea. And remember, these doors can be broken down, but, um, it takes a bit to break them down. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know where he went. He probably went over here to loot some stuff. Um, let's see what we got over here. Check some of these places. I'll uh, show you, like, some, some of these are pre-made buildings. And uh, they do have loot spawns in them. So I'm just going to look in here. This is the same building we were in. Except, oh, there's a zombie. we got to stay away from the zombies. Um, what, we're, what we're really looking for is animals. Because um, food is definitely a priority. Okay, I just uh, found someone's house that was abandoned. And uh, they had a lot of nice stuff in it. Well, nice early stuff. Um, I don't know why they left it open like that. But it was open. I just walked right in and looted all... Like, pretty much all their stuff. So uh, right now I'm heading back to our base and um, we're going to get some pants made up like for him and uh, as soon as I do I can record a little bit more openly. So I'll talk to him now though. Okay we just went out on a hunting trip and uh, I was using the shotgun. I've got 13 cloth and we got some raw chicken so we will eat but we need 20 cloth each for our sleeping bag so until we get our sleeping bags we, you know, our spawn points are compromised. Um, we really need 20 cloth each for our sleeping bags. And once we get that 20 cloth, uh, it'll be much better. Okay, we just, uh, we were just basically hanging out in the hut, talking all night. And, um, talking about the game and stuff. He's going to go on a run, a midnight run. He dropped off all his stuff so he doesn't die. Um, and I, we just got enough cloth to make him a pair of pants. So now I can keep recording. Although I hear some gunshots out there right in the area he ran to, so... That's making me a little nervous. But I'm going to make him some pants. I'm going to try and get him on Skype or something. And, uh, you know, when he comes back, I'll be able to record a lot more. Okay, and we're back, guys. And uh, we got Jakers some pants. Uh, you want to say hello, Jakers? What's going on, guys? All right. And uh, this is a random guy I met in game. Uh, we got on Skype. And uh, I'm going to finish this video here. Uh, this is basically just a, a gaming spotlight video, just talking about the game and stuff. And, you know. All right, I think I'm going to go make a quick run here while we can. Okay. I think I will, too. And, uh... Got the, ooh, M4... Do you need the grenade blueprint? Um, the F1 grenade? Yeah. No, I, I already have that one. Okay. By the way, um, when you... Whoa! Oh, no. What, what, what? Did, Did he, he hit you? Yeah, my... He was hitting me through the wall as well. 
Oh, wow. That's... Why don't you grab the uh, M4? We got 32 rounds for it. All right, sounds good. And he's by my door, so if you go through your door, you pr you should be clear on that end, I would imagine. All right, I need to heal up quick. Uh... Yeah, 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 definitely. And that's a close call. That's a little bit of a problem, too, come to think of it. Yeah, we just got attacked by a, a bunch of zombies, and um, I was beating them with my club. I put shotgun shells in them. They didn't die, and then all of a sudden they did, so I don't know what was going on. It was almost it was probably lag. I probably It looked like I hit him, but I really didn't or something like that. I really don't know. Yeah, I was worried. When I died, they had, I had died right over my bed, and they were right on top of it. So when I spawned in, they were right on top of me. I was quite worried. It would seem that the zombies have left. No, they're over here. Yep, there they are. Uh, oh, I got some anti-radiation pills. That could come in handy. I will go for a run as well, but just close your door before you go. Yep, I need to grab some health. I'm, I'm bleeding out again. Great. Oh, jeez. A lot of people are quitting. I've started a video. I started recording earlier, but I didn't get a chance to... Um, say what I wanted to say, so I'll just scrap that part, but I'll explain it now. Um, this server is now a, a sleeper server. They've been doing some experiments with the sleeper server thing. And basically what that means is you can't log out. I mean, you, when you leave the game, your character just drops on the ground like he's sleeping. And you can be... I don't know if you could be killed, but you can be looted while you're not online. And, um, you know, I think the only people that are happy about that are the trolls, personally. But uh, I'm really not happy about it. Yeah, it definitely adds a new mechanic. There's a lot of things that need kind of tweaking in the game, and this is definitely one of them. But there are people who actually enjoy this type of this type of uh, scenario. So I guess whatever floats your boat in that case. Yeah, I'm just uh, I just I really like do not like the idea of someone someone coming in to take my stuff while I'm sleeping, and, and like in real life, like I can be in bed at three o'clock in the morning and someone could just take all my stuff. Like I do not like that idea at all. Oh, absolutely. This totally opens up a new a new kind of thing where people can just play at, at night and just loot everything. Everybody who's playing. But it can't be. Unless you can hide yourself really well behind metal walls, it's you're going to be hard-pressed to find a good safe house. A lot of people said it's hard to get C4. I didn't I didn't think it was that hard to get C4 personally, but Oh, not at all. The only thing is you got to get the explosives for the blueprint. Yeah, another cool thing about this game, one thing I do like, is once you learn blueprints, you keep it on that server, right? Like, forever. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I'm worried about is if they ever do another reset of the server, yeah. that that will be removed. But oh, I I'm hope... Sure, I'm sure... Oh, you mean, like, if you die, you lose all your blueprints? No, there's, um, every... They try not to do this, but every once in a while, they have a server reset, where it resets the entire world, and all your items are lost, you start fresh. So... I hope that's not the case. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine it will be eventually. The game, they, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this game is in, like, early, like, alpha. So, it I'm runs it runs really well, though. Like, I, I think it's pretty pretty far along for an alpha, I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gary's been pulling out all the stops for this. I'm, I'm very pleased with what he's done so far. That's for sure. Ah, uh, you know. I'm curious as to what is in that power plant down by the... By the road, yeah. We we can't go near it because it is so radiated that you die in in seconds. But with these pills, I think I'll quick run in and see if I can grab something before I die. Oh, give it a shot, man. All right. Boys are not very fast. Oh, good, you're able to kill those pretty outright? Yeah, oh yeah, with hatchet. They Great. can't outrun me, I don't even have to sprint. Awesome. Well, that's one animal we can kill, along with chickens, but those give you next to nothing, so I wouldn't even recommend it. I killed a... I killed a, um... Uh, a fo... Uh, 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 a wolf as well. I'm gonna go dump off what I got, though, before I keep hunting. I, I'm a little bit overly cautious, but, you know, I, I don't want to lose the stuff I already got. Oh yeah. Well, in this game, more cautious the better, to be honest. But yeah. at the same at the same time, you could be so cautious, and then someone with an M4 can come up and two shot you. I mean. Well, yeah, but the thing is, if you're overly cautious when they do two shot you, you might not have that much because you just went back when maybe you wouldn't have normally. Exactly. So I don't know. It's uh, like I said, uh, the game is very hardcore. I'm not. I don't usually play hardcore games like this. This is about as hardcore a game as you can get. 
Um, and I, I do enjoy it. But the sleeper thing, like I said, that's going to... It could be a... De it's going to be a deal breaker for me if they implement it on every server. So we'll see where they go with that. Um, Is there a piece of armor that's red? Because I saw a piece of armor on a guy that made him look like a zombie. Really? Yeah. Um, as far as I know, there's leather, Kevlar, cloth, rad suit, and I think that's about it. If there is something else, it might be new, or it might be both. Oh! I'm dead. There's a guy out there by our, uh, where we were cooking with a shotgun. Oh, really? Yeah, and I lost my shotgun. Shouldn't have oh. been out there with it. Well, at least we created it so we can make more, at least. Alright, let's, uh... That's not Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna do a lap around the house. And run inside. And then run inside. Alright, I'm gonna kill these boars. Oh, they like to run. I'll kill them and come back and see if I can't end their... end them. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the video here. I think I've shown a good amount of what this game has to offer. Um, I really do enjoy the game, but it's very harsh and unforgiving, and I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to play it. If this game looks like something that interests you and you end up getting it, let me know. If you already have it, let me know if you want to work together. And, you know, there's strength in numbers in this game, so if I get enough people to play with me, it'll go a long way towards making me want to play it more. So if you guys are interested in this game, let me know, and uh, that's going to be it for this Gaming Spotlight. Take it easy.